How's it going out there? This is uh, DJ Matt Winters here at 88.1 Weber FM. And as promised, like we've been saying for the last half hour, Fake Problems is in studio with us right now. Say hello, guys. Hello. Hi. And uh, they're going to be performing a couple songs for us here in a little bit. Um, tell us what who you guys are and uh, what instrument you guys play. Uh, my name's Chris. I play the guitar and the singing. Uh, my name's Casey Lee, and I just play the guitar. Nice. And uh, the rest of the band are off wandering somewhere through bowling, campus. Bowling, I think, yeah. at this point. Uh, really? <laughs> Sean's playing pool and Derek's bowling. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll keep this short so in case you guys want to join, you <laughs> totally can. So uh, they, you guys are from uh, Naples, Florida. You guys got a long, long drive ahead of you there. Yeah, to here. It's, it's been a while. It's been a, uh, It's taken us about almost a month to get out here. <laughs> Wow. But we've had shows on the way, so we've been taking our time. Just yeah. driving very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who you guys are on tour with and uh, how that, how's that been going for you? We're on tour with um, a band called Murder by Death. It's been awesome so far. This is actually, I think, one of the best tours we've ever done with some of the nicest people ever. I, there's a lot of crazy moments. I don't know how much of the crazy moments I want to talk about, <laughs> but... Uh, I don't know. It's just really great meeting so many different nice people who've taken us out and befriended us and taken us under their wing because <laughs> we're pretty much younger than all, 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 a, a bit younger than all those <laughs> people too. So yeah, we're always the youngest band on the yeah. tour. Yeah. Always, always. How old are you guys? Just curiosity. Uh, we're both twenty-two. I'm, I'm going to be fifteen next. <laughs> <week>. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys find live that more of the punk kids get it or like indie kids are into it or both or who who do you find is your biggest demographic of fans? Um, I, it's been going pretty well so far with everybody who's seen us. Um, I'd say about halfsies. Halfsies, yeah. I think it's it's pretty it's pretty solid. Like everybody seems to – something I was worried about is people wouldn't really like catch on to it and would just kind of be mad that we didn't make – our first record again but it's been going really good and people seem to be really enjoying it and it's it's all we could ask for really any band that's in the punk scene that signs to a major label um they kind of have a backlash from their former fans have you guys experienced that at all uh, to any degree uh, not really unless uh, uh, bring it on yeah bring back, it on backlash me yeah see if i care the only things i've seen like a couple times we get like myspace comments that like say like your new album sucks <laughs> or like what happened to you guys? Um, I probably wouldn't want to be friends with those people anyway. Yeah, so. So. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a little bit about signing to Side One Dummy. Well, we went on tour with um, some bands. This band, the Street Dogs, they were just playing our uh, our demos for this record. And Joe Sib, the owner of the label, was like, what is this? And Toby from the Street Dogs, is that who did it? Yeah. He, uh... He's like, it's, it's fake problems. Here's their number. And Joe's like calling us and I'm really stoked on these demos. And then we ended up recording the record before we even had a uh, a deal with them. And uh, basically we we showed them the record and they, they loved it. So You're going to play a live song. A right live now. song. Live song. Uh, which you were going to start off with uh, Heartless. Yeah, this is, song is called Heartless. Which is... Uh, <laughs> You were telling me it's the... It's the iTunes exclusive for uh, It's Great to Be Alive. Now days I get up around 8 and 9 o'clock I've been real productive, I've been writing songs and I've been singing a lot Well I don't do half the stupid things I did behind your back In fact since you have been away I've had no use for that But I've come dangerously close You were the only one that didn't pretend to love. How's it going out there? This is DJ Matt Winters here at 88.1 Weber FM. And that was some fake problems. And they're actually in studio right now with us. Yes. They're uh, they're in here doing some songs for us and uh, doing a little bit of interview with us. And uh, it's been pretty awesome. Shucking so and jiving. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. So uh, let's talk about the new album, guys. It's uh, It's called It's Great to Be Alive, which is just a great title all around great little punk tile i think it's it's wonderful and i've been listening to it all day um some of the influences are obvious like hot water music against me kind of sound but some of them are more 
newer for you guys, I guess? There's a definitely a Modest Mouse vibe on your guys' new record. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the why you guys chose to go that direction with the music. Um, I think it pretty much just happened naturally. It was just the way the songs that we were writing ended up sounding like. Um, you I, I think, yeah, I think um, our older stuff came off more punk because we were younger and and more excited and i think we were just writing like fast songs like and i i admittedly i wasn't very good at guitar (laughs) like i wasn't playing much like that i wanted to and then this i think we got really ambitious and just made the record that we have wanted to make since we were like 16 years old yeah yeah we were finally good enough to make the record (laughs) we wanted to make that's uh, cool musically at least We spent two weeks in Omaha. Uh, We stayed. The studio is in between Connor Oberst's house and Mike Mogus's house. Mansions. I'll say mansion. And uh, there was like a little guest house, and we stayed there. um, And just every day recorded. It was amazing. It was like from, I think, from 10 till about 10 at night every day. We spent recording. As far as influences for this record, Modest Mouse and uh, Ryan Adams and... A lot of uh, Death hold Cab for steady. Cutie, The Hold Steady, a lot of The Hold Steady. <laughs> uh, brand new, The Weaker Thans, span, like, just bands that, that we listen to in the van. Like, th- those are the, I mean, those are the kind of bands we listen to, like, all the time, like, religiously. Not nice. religiously, but... Almost religiously. Almost religiously. Nice. Every Sunday we listen to Church those bands. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows who The Hold Steady are, they're playing next month. Check them out. They're... I've, I've never seen him live. Have you guys seen him live? We played with him one time. It was a shining moment of my life. The really? coolest thing I've ever done. Yeah, it was awesome. I we played it. with him at this uh, skate park uh, the celebration. Tampa, the Tampa Am yeah. celebration. Celebration. <laughs> celebration. It was a party, not a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, and uh, we just we played with him, and it was awesome. That's I got, rad. I got to do jello shots with Tag Kubler. <laughs> Feel pretty good about that. <laughs> that was like a shining moment of your year right there. <laughs> That's like shining moment of my lifetime. That's yeah. pretty rad, dude. So if anybody goes to that Hold Study show, tell them that Fake Problems would love to go on tour <laughs> with them. If I see him, if I go, if I go see him and, I, it. and I meet him, I'm just going to be like, hey, there's this band called, Hold, or called Fake Problems. Take them out. Yeah. You'd love them. Yeah. They're awesome. And everybody that goes should wear a fake problem shirt. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to get into another song right now. Yes. Uh, your selfish life your goals and hopes are hollow don't bother me one second more with your ideas of some perfect life cause it only exists when you're young when you're dumb when you're drunk as hell and in love Sad when you know one pretend you're something more than you are, but you're not. La 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 la. la, 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 la. Thanks again for coming in, guys. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we're gonna get this last song on and then. Uh, We'll uh, say adieu to you guys, and hopefully you guys will come back soon. Yeah, we will. Uh, here is Don't Worry Baby off of uh, It's Great to Be Alive. Check it out. It's on Side One Dummies. just came out a couple weeks ago. And uh, thanks again, guys, and we'll see you later. See you.